Hey everyone, welcome back to another Hardcore but Cottagecore episode. I hope you didn't miss me too much. In the last episode, we put on our holiday skin and we built up this adorable Christmas cottage. It actually looks a little bit weird without all the snow. To get back into this today, we're going to tackle a few other things I need to do around the rosewood. And I'm a little bit nervous. As you've seen in this world, I use a ton of mangrove wood to build with and I want to work towards a farm to gather it for me because I don't want to chop it anymore. But before we go into that, I want to actually do something else I've been putting off for a while. I'm actually getting to the point where if I die in this world, I'm going to be devastated. Luckily, we can do something to hopefully prevent that. Now, I started off with these chickens, and I know what you're thinking, okay? It's a terrible chicken coop. And you're right, and they're loud and annoying. I just wanted their eggs, but they're not producing them fast enough. So we're gonna have to turn to another alternative, and some of you may know where this is going. I just need to gather up enough snow. And now that we have a couple stacks, let's grab some of these pumpkins to Ow. Let's grab these two. Next, we gotta shear them up. And now we can use these pumpkins to make snow golems. And I plan on sacrificing those snow golems to the wither. We already have the skulls and the soul sand that I collected on stream. So to be safe, I'm going to dig a tunnel in our mine shaft and I'm going to fight the wither there. I really need to at some point make a better mining entrance. It's been so long that I don't remember exactly. Is it down here? Yeah, I think so. I always tend to overthink this fight, but this tunnel is just going to be a safety precaution as I don't want him to destroy my builds. Let's dig out a little room to spawn him in and also to have all of the snow golems in. I'm not going to summon him yet, but I am going to set this up so that I don't have to fight with the snow golems. And let's get one of them summoned in. Oh, he has such a cute face. Oh, I'm going to feel bad. Oh no, this is horrible. I guess I just better get this over with summon in a bunch of them i'm sorry oh my gosh the guilt is immense right now they're so cute i can probably fit a few more in there as horrible as that is to say i just i just want wither roses i feel like using chickens would have been easier i really do i mean at least emotionally because the chickens are at least annoying okay let's fill this up and then let's go fight this guy Oh, uh, I'm so nervous. Apologies in advance. I'm sorry. Oh, they're fighting him. They're like sending the little snowballs at him. Oh, I'm sorry. Can I get him? Oh. Yeah, potion, potion. All right, he's kind of annoying to hit with the bow, so let's just go for the sword. Yeah, halfway, let's go. Let's go. Oh, 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 okay, withering. I'm withering. But he's almost dead. Let's go. That wasn't so bad. Alright, gotta make sure I pick up the nether star. I gotta throw. Oh my gosh, my inventory is so full of random stuff. And I didn't bring a shulker box, of course. Got it. And now the other treasure, the wither roses. Oh, I feel so bad. I don't even need these yet, but every little bit counts. Am I the only one that always overthinks that fight? I also found a wither head while we were down there, so that's pretty cool. Let's grab some glass and let's craft up our beacon. And there we go. I think we also have like an entire shulker box of iron blocks, right? That iron farm is coming in clutch. This is way more than we even need. Let's go set up the beacon. We did it, Dorita. We lived. I think it was raining and we went to sleep. So there should be a, yes, a rainbow. Oh, it's so beautiful. Now, eventually I'm going to move the beacon. But for now, I'm going to set it up over here by the village. 
and that's because i want to do a raid and i think a resistance and regeneration beacon is going to be really helpful and i'm going to put it underground since i don't want a ravager to trample on it now i'm normally a player who doesn't use totems i normally only use shields but I decided in this world that I will use totems as long as I earn them from raids rather than a raid farm. Personally, I'm a big fan of letting people play how they want to play, but for me, it just never felt right to use totems. But I think this can be a cool reward. I just need to do a few more preparations and then we can raid. This is not my first time playing hardcore and the only thing that's almost killed me in my last hardcore world is actually a raid. Vexes are extremely scary. Checking our potion box, this is actually what we have so far. I think I want to make some more of the health potions and maybe some more strength potions as well. And now to begin the really long process of brewing all these potions. Okay, here's our total haul of potions in the shulker. We have a bunch of strength and way too many healing probably. We got these regen from the Ancient City. I don't think they'll be useful though because of the beacon. I'm gonna make a little platform to get away from the Ravagers. And we'll put a light up here so nothing spawns. And yeah, I think it's time to go get Bad Omen. Checking our map, we actually did find a Pillager Tower in the last episode. We can fly over there and then just avoid our base on the way back. Leave it to me to not play this game for a few months, and then when I come back, the first thing I do is the most dangerous thing that you can do in hardcore. Ooh, I think this is a new village. Wait. Oh, it's abandoned. I've never found one of these before. Oh, no. There are zombies. Oh. Oh, there's going to be a lot of death. Anything in the abandoned blacksmiths? No. Oh, my gosh. I should have turned fire tick off. Everything is always on fire when there's lava around. Please leave me alone. I am trying to save your abandoned village from being burned down by this lava pool. No one appreciates me. Well, I'm going to free these animals. And these ones. Oh, maybe this zombie is stuck over here. Hey, buddy. I freed all the cows. You don't really need them anymore. Oh, there's a cat. Oh, it's so cute. I have to get the cat. All right, let's go get fish. I don't have time for you to run. Just take the fish. Thank you. You are so cute, though. I forgive you. All right, let's sleep here for the night. And then tomorrow, I'm going to have to leave you here. Because it's too dangerous for you to follow me to the pillager tower. I will be back for you, I promise. Don't want you to die to pillagers. You should be coming up here. Yep, there it is. All right, let's land on the top and see if they have a goat horn. Oh, wow. One iron. <laughs> and I guess now we just farm these guys until a captain spawns and then we can kill him. Good bow practice for the vexes later, I guess. dozens of you already and I'm just one person so I mean I see why you have to gang up on me you know to try to win oh, gosh, I should put on my chest plate oh no do not like getting to half health oh no oh it's about time you showed up all right okay okay we're gonna ignore my terrible aim oh my god there's so many arrows in me Hey everyone, Editing Frog here, and I just wanted to give a small headphone warning as the next part of the video does get a little bit loud during the raid sequence. In the description, I added the skip ahead. If you are sensitive to sounds, um, feel free to skip ahead and you won't really miss anything besides a lot of panicked yelling. All right, got some rockets and it's time to go home. I think I'm far south enough that I won't run into my base and I can just kind of fly around it. I'll know for sure once I start to see the mountains. Okay, there's the Christmas cottage. Just gotta go this way. Oh, there's the beacon, which means the village is right there. I don't know if I'm ready. I just gotta do it. I just gotta jump down. Oh, here it goes. They look like they have little Jason masks on. It's so funny to me. Hey, buddy. 
not gonna try to kill me? Oh, the Ravagers. They look so cool in Mizunos. I don't know if I've ever fought a raid with Mizunos on. Oh yeah, the Iron Golem's going for him. Kill him. Kill him, Greg. I should probably heal him up with that one iron ingot I got earlier. There you go, buddy. Oh, witches. Can we agree that witches are the worst part of raids besides vexes? And there's so many of them. Are they, are they swimming? What are they doing? They're drowning in powdered snow. All right, here we go. Another wave. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. He's, oh, he's coming right for me. Um, sir, please. Oh, oh, he, you're not, you're not cool anymore. I take back what I said about how, how cool you look. Oh, gosh. Greg. Greg, help me. Where is that iron golem? Is he dead? Oh, gosh. Okay, okay. Okay, listen. I am very flustered right now. Oh, there he is. Greg! Where were you? I was screaming. Let's get this guy. My goodness. Ooh. Hey, be careful. Don't hit me. I thought we were bros. Okay, this mountain was the worst place ever to do a raid. They keep getting stuck in all these cracks. It's horrible. <laughs> Is that a voker? <gasps> yes, die, 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 die. Yes, a totem. Oh my gosh, put that in our offhand immediately. Yes, let's go. We got a totem. Ooh, there's another evoker. Let's kill him. Ooh, okay, he's definitely dead. Yes, two totems. Let's go. Hey, I'm over here. What are you doing? Oh my gosh, why is it starting to rain and snow? This is... This is the kind of drama I do not need in my life right now, okay? Hey, Greg, can I get some backup over here? There's a, there's a lot going on. Aw, oh, man, Greg is definitely... He's abandoned me. I think Greg does not care. Oh, God. The vexes are so annoying. Oh, no. All right, please leave me alone. I'm just a baby. And I don't have time for... Oh, my gosh. All of you... I think raids would be so much better if vexes did not exist. Every time I'm trying to fight anything else, there are just so many of them. Ooh, free ground totem. I'm 95% sure that this like evoker is stuck in a hole somewhere, just sending them my way over and over. I've killed so many. Oh no, there he is. Okay, get the creeper. Okay, that creeper should be dead. Um, I gotta. I just gotta go kill him. All right, please die. Oh, thank God. Oh my gosh, there's so many mobs too. It's nighttime. I can't sleep because of the vexes. Ah! Please leave me alone. I am just a baby, please. Okay, the other mobs ganging up on me right now. Kind of uh, unfair in an already unfair situation, you know? Okay, I think these might be the last couple of vexes, but there's still some raiders up I've got to find. I don't know where they are. Wait, I see a witch down there. That might be one of the raiders. Mm, I don't know. Sometimes they get stuck over here too. I don't see any. I don't know. Oh, there's a potion effect down there. Okay. Probably down there. I don't know what happened, but there's water everywhere. Oh, yep. Okay. Let's get the witch. Oh no, the raid bar went away. Is that bad? Oh, maybe I'm too far away from the village. Did I get him? Oh, there's one more. Oh, okay. One more. One more. Let's go. Oh my gosh. Finally. <laughs> Let's go. We did the raid. After all that, we made it out with the hero of the village and we got four totems from that raid. And I am so, so proud of myself right now. I definitely thought that I was going to die at some points during that. Dude, Greg, where were you? I was yelling the whole time. Yeah, look away. Walk away, Greg. Can't even face me after what you've done. Yeah, I see you. Oh yeah, look away. Well, now that that's over, I'm gonna set up our beacon near our base with some haste. And we still have an entire build that we have to do in this episode to work towards our mangrove tree farm. So I guess we should probably also do that too. We actually got so many new mob heads today. Wow. All right, so the next thing we need to do is that we need to go get some beehives and I've seen some around the flower forest, so I'm gonna grab them. Here's one. Just need the bees to go back in it. I'm just gonna take that. If we can get a couple more, that should be enough to start with. Ooh, 
Ooh, that one had three bees in it. Let's go. All right, we got a total of five bees nests there. I'm gonna reset up the beacon near the base and set up a temporary area for the bees. Oh man, this is so fun when you first get a haste two beacon for the first time. Let's go. This is very ugly and very temporary, don't worry. We can just breed up a bunch of bees in here. That way we can have enough for our farm and just the greenhouse in general. And I'll check on these when it's daytime again. In the meantime, I'm gonna grab a bunch of light gray dye as I think I wanna use light gray glass for the greenhouse. I'll put some sand to smell in the super smelter. And even though I really like this plain glass for a greenhouse, I think this glass just, I don't know, there's something special about it. I do need to grab some more ink sacks though because I am out of black dye. This is like right here spawn. I never noticed how pretty this rocky terrain is. Well, and seeing as it's nighttime, I'm actually going to make the trip to the swamp as well. Because I actually need to breed some frogs. I want some green frog lights and I'm just going to look for some slime. Try to take them out when I can. This is genuinely so dangerous. There's so many mobs. Oh, there's a slime. Let's go. Ouch. I don't know why I thought this was going to be friendly. Oh, it's the baby ones that are friendly. That's right. Oh, I feel bad. I'm sorry. I just... Oh, man. I'm so sorry. Wait, on the edge of the swamp, there's a village over here. This could be so cool for a future project, like a big swamp village. Oh my god, witch hut cat, come here. I want to love you. Okay, so if I give the frogs the slime and then I put water down, they should like lay the eggs on top of it, right? Yes, okay, cool. Now we just gotta wait. And in the meantime, I'm gonna gather some flowers for the greenhouse. Oh my gosh, Hatch, please. We've been here forever. Um. <gasps> Tadpoles! They're so cute! All right, now time to bring them to the end. Also, I have to boat my new cats home. That's a necessity as well. We still need to go get that other cat too, but for now I'm gonna sit them here. In the end portal room, I eventually want to transform this into like a nice area, but I'm just going to put another portal here. And now we're just going to wait for these tadpoles to grow up here so they'll turn into green frogs. Wait, when did you become frogs? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I didn't even realize. They're so cute. I love them so much. Okay, everyone in the portal. Come on, everyone. Let's go. And now I just gotta rush to world spawn and hope that they don't hop off into the woods. Oh, okay, awesome. They're all here. Let's go grab all the leads and grab up all five frogs. There's a last, oh, there he is. Hey, buddy. Let's go. But it's uh, getting dark, so I'm hoping that we can make this super fast. If I hold the slime, they'll just come towards me while I'm running. Yeah, nothing happened. No creeper explosions, nothing. Actually, I mean it. But now we're in the nether. We're going to get frog lights. All right, here's the platform. Oh, they're already spawning in. Let's go. Okay, this will be very easy because I don't need that many. I only need a couple. Go towards the frog so that they can eat you. You as well. Go that way. Power of knockback. There we go. We'll just knock them into the frogs. Look at them. Eat my children. You're you're all amazing. Oh my goodness. Ah, oh, there's so many lights. I'm so excited. I think definitely next episode I want to get a good farm going for some frog lights. I mean, the other half of the mangrove tree farm that we don't have already is slime. So, I mean, this could work out for next episode. So many advancements today. Let's go. I do need to collect just a few more things before we start building, but azalea leaves and spore blossoms are the last things on my list. 
Okay, I cleared out some space here, as you can see, and I went to the Lush Cave already. It turned into a three hour trip. I'm not gonna show you that. We actually just hit day 480, and I'd love to get this build finished by day 500. To make that happen, I've got all the materials we're gonna need, and I think even extra, honestly. And I think, yeah, I think it's time. I'm gonna get to building. The first thing I always like to do when I build is start out with framing. I think once you have these wooden or stone or whatever outlines that you have for your build, it's just so much easier to visualize. I'm going to bring back the red nether brick here as the base for where the glass is going to sit on top of. And so far, this is the shape we have. It's kind of like a plus. It's kind of different than anything else I have in this area, but trust me, let's trust the process, okay? Trust the process. And I'm going to start adding the glass. I think this glass was, yeah, definitely the right choice. I'm going to fill in the windows, so enjoy all of the glass placing ASMR. keep the roof shape pretty simple and just do a simple stair roof. I think that's going to be the easiest to work with with all the glass. Sometimes it's just better to keep it simple. Don't overcomplicate anything if you don't have to, you know? I think this roof is going to be hard enough to look at though because I'm going to use glass for the roof to, you know, really give it that greenhouse feel. Visually, this may become a little bit chaotic and it's really going to start raining again. Every time I build in this world, it is always raining. So to break up all this glass, I'm going to add this like spruce overarching kind of support beam thing. And I think if that's in the middle on all sides, it's going to look really good. Oh my god, there's a wandering trader down there. He's being so annoying. There might have to be a murder. Now between all of these sections, I've been doing like a slab trap door, slab trap door alternating thing. I think I like that a lot. Then between all of these roof bits on the edges, I just want to fill this in. And before we start building the tower, because yes, I want to add a tower, I need to grab some white wool. And of course it's on the other side. 27 should be plenty. I thought the glass was probably going to look kind of awkward, so connecting it with a tower in the middle will make this build look a little bit more interesting. That does mean we're going to have two towers on this one side, so we need to add another tower somewhere else on the other side, like maybe over on the other side of the iron farm to even it out. I'm going to bring in some stone here as the tower base, but I'm going to stick to just stone, stone brick, and cobble, I think. We'll definitely have to try to fit like a little bedroom up here. Maybe for like a beekeeper. That would be so cute. And here, let's pop out the edges. That way we can make the bedroom that we're going to put up here just a tiny bit bigger. Once again, I always start with my support beams and I'm going to do them four high going all the way around. Now for the walls of the tower, I think we're going to do a mix of diorite and calcite just like we have been doing in this area. I think that's one of the interesting challenges of this world though so far. I don't normally build all in the same palette. Trying to keep everything looking similar enough that it looks good together but different enough that it's still interesting has been a real challenge. But I will say the challenge is worth it because having an area that looks so cohesive like everything belongs there and belongs together is so nice middle here let's add a pillar going up and then we can put a ladder on it this can also serve as our way down into the farm in the bottom as well tower roofs are definitely one thing i still want to keep getting better at in minecraft but i feel like i've improved a lot in the last year and instead of mangrove here i'm actually going to sneak in some red mushroom block because it's still red but it's kind of different and kind of funky i think it really fits with like the organic theme of a greenhouse also not to mention i have not really built anything with mushroom blocks in this world and if you know me from my 118 series that is almost a crime it's actually been a goal of mine to build a castle with the roof completely out of mushroom blocks for a while 
perhaps during this series we can actually work on fulfilling that dream of mine of having a beautiful mushroom castle. And I'm just going to put a simple little flag up here going the same direction as the other flag. So it kind of looks like they're both flying in the wind in the same way. But after this, I think we're going to move on to the interior, which I am going to do off camera. Before I jump in to do the interior, I just wanted to show how it's looking so far. She's still missing a couple of details, but I will fix it, I promise. Oh, and also I will make the bee farm as well. <laughs> I can't forget that. All right, who's ready to see the inside of the greenhouse? I'm so excited. I did add a little bit of details on the outside, but I think I might add some more still. They're still looking a little bit plain and I've got to do the paths around here. In the corners of the plus, I added these raised flower beds on each side. I don't know, I really like them. You can see the flowers from inside the greenhouse. They just look so nice. Inside, I tried to bring together all of the different plants that I've found so far in this world. This section is for all the flowers and the tall flowers. And then on this side, I have a section dedicated just to tulips. They're my favorite. And then over here, we have other stuff like saplings and bamboo and cactus. There are flower pots hidden up above as well. And obviously the overgrown leaves and downstairs, you actually go into the actual bee farm. Now, if you've been with me a long time, this is actually a nod to my 118 world using the birch and the granite. Both farms are actually already producing some stuff as well, although some of it's a little bit weird. I've never made a farm with comparators before, so I might have to fix that. Overall, I'm super happy with all the progress that we got done in this episode. I feel so accomplished. I think pretty soon I'm going to end up doing a live stream. I want to build a pond here or maybe over there somewhere up here. And I want to fix up the paths and make them nice and put some more street lights as well. Thank you guys so much for all your patience with this episode. That's going to be it for today. It was so awesome to hang out with you guys once again. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. Bye.